Hello, welcome to AUG Motorhomes in Starbridge and today I'm going to show you around our 2013 registered Bessicar E584 motorhome but first I need to show you this we're known as being in the black country not a black cloud in sight Save it right Excitement over, we've got warm wind, there's a bit of wind out over here so apologies for that but it's a warm wind, we're not going to moan. We've got blue skies, we've got a Bessicar E584 in front of me as well. 7.71 metres in length. It's on the Fiat Ducato Maxi chassis so you are going to need C1 on your driving licence to be able to use this motorhome. It's the 2.3 150 brake horsepower. Anybody who knows anything about motorhomes will tell you that Bessicar is a desired motorhome to have. It is a well respected motorhome. Top end of the Swift group. So behind the passenger door we have a locker there to get underneath the bench seat that's inside. Uh, Fiamma awning that goes the full length of the habitation side. Mid door for the habitation area. Suggests that there's something going on the back end. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And we've got another locker just behind the rear wheel, just there. Gives us access to underneath the fixed bed that we will find in a minute. Okay, to the rear of the motorhome. Oh, the sun's playing devil's advocate with me today, isn't it? I love the sun, but it's creating so many shadows. I hope you can see there we've got a bike rack. We've also got a reversing camera on there. It has got a personalised plate on it, but that will be coming off. Don't get excited if your name's thick. THK? What else can it be? You'd be thick to miss this man. Oh dear. It's a dad joke today. It's the sun. Blame the sun. We don't get it very often. Right. Driver's side, just at the rear end there, we can see that we've got the toilet locker. So that's telling me the toilet area, the bathroom's on the back of this motorhome. Bit more storage space there. We've got our drown down points on the Fiat alloy wheels. Just try and get it all in. Okay, nice little decals. Unmarked motorhome. Very pretty, very desirable. Here at AUG Motorhomes in Starbridge. Come down, take a look at it. Make the most of the weather. Shorts are accepted in our establishment. I'll be getting my legs out soon, I can assure you, if this weather continues. God help us. Right. I'm waffling because I don't want to go inside. And I don't want to go inside because of the sun. Not because it's not a lovely motorhome. However, I've only got a few minutes. So, without further ado... Right, well, what a lovely motorhome inside as well as outside. We can see in the cab area we've got this massive roof light letting a lot of natural light in. Captain's chairs, that's a height adjustable swivel round. We've got nice little walnut inlays in the dashboard. I don't know if you can see that again, the, the sun's creating it bit dark in here I do apologize for that but anyway we've got radio controls on the steering wheel we've got cruise control we've got remis blinds at the front driver passenger airbag reverse camera everything that you'd expect in a top quality motorhome I'm going to spin us around so you can see the dinette so we've got an extra two two travel seats so this is a fully fledged four berth four belted motorhome so you've got a dinette area there and opposite we've got this bench seat which you can get to the storage underneath that from the outside a couple of plug sockets at the front here always good to point out the plug plug sockets so we've got led lighting so we've got a plug socket there and we've got some sort of like led lighting reading lights there as well all the opening windows we've got blackout blinds as well as fly screens and in the dinette area we have got two overhead lockers above the dinette and a further two over the long bench seat that I showed you earlier. Midship we've got the habitation door which has got a fly screen on there and we've got the kitchen area. Typical British uh, features here. 
Another couple of plug sockets there in the uh, kitchen area. Nice little shelf there. So, so you can here, there, there it is. Uh, so you can put your bits and pieces on there. Microwave. Thetford full oven, separate grill, and the obligatory British electric hot plate on the left hand corner there, along with three further gas burners. Plenty of workspace up here in the kitchen area, and I love this little unit here underneath the kitchen sink. It's nice curved, but it's got like a little circular carousel that you can spin around. Even on a cloudy day, I think I'll be happy in this motorhome. home. Talking about cloudy and cold days, we have the older heating and hot water in this motor home. So it's like the radiator system, it's not blown air. So again, you've got comfort all throughout the motor home. We've got a three-way fridge freezer, separate fridge freezer, tall fridge freezer, and again, a little shelf where you can put your TV along with another 230 socket. Into the bedroom area, so, we have got a little concertina division that separates the bedroom area from the living area where we find this huge French bed. It's just slightly offset and we've got a door at the back for the bathroom which we'll go to in the mid in, in a minute. Oh, I'm so excited. Above the French bed we've got three further overhead lockers and we've got a nice little double sized wardrobe and some drawers there for your socks and pants to go in. So it's a really home from home and feel to this motorhome. Underneath the bed, you can lift it up and you've got all that storage space underneath there. Annoying salesman, chuck them in there. So at the end, we've got this little door here which is going to be in our bathroom. And it's a bathroom that goes all the way across the rear of the motorhome. So we've got a separate shower. Wash basin. And the electric flush that for toilet. Little towel rail there as well. This is massive. You can have four or five people in here. You can have a party in the back of here. It's lovely. So I'm now stood in the shower. And you can see the space. And not only would this be a bathroom would be a nice changing area for some privacy to to get changing as well coming out of the bathroom so back into the bedroom area we've got a further 230 socket there and just at the foot of the bed we've got a tv aerial and again another 230 socket lots and lots of sockets in this motorhome no reason when you're on electric where you can't take all your portable devices and charge them at the same time throughout the motorhome so if i just lift us up here we've got a roof light above in our bedroom area and then we've got a further three roof lights throughout the motorhome, a couple over the kitchen area and that big one over the drivers and passenger seats. So to recap this motorhome then, it is a four berth French bed with a full rear bathroom, four traveling seats. Got the captain chairs that spin round. There you go, the remis blinds across the windscreen. 7.71 meters in length, just remember that. You do need C1 on your driving license again because it is on the heavy maxi, the Fiat Ducato Maxi chassis. If you like this motorhome and you want to see more of it, come down to get to AEG Motorhomes in Starbridge. Uh, the uh, postcode is DY81JE. Call one of our sales staff on 01384. 848439 or find out more on our website www.agmotohomes.co.uk I'll quickly show you the dinette area again if I go up top and try and pan down here we go I almost don't want to go back out in the sun but I'm going to see you soon AG Motohomes